Hey guys, enter the stars. And if you had any doubts in your mind about the origins of the tribe of Dan, I'm going to put them to rest right now. Now what you're looking at is Amalian Borg. And if you haven't already seen it, the word alien is in this word. Now if this couldn't get any creepier, I'm going to show you some things today that are just going to blow your mind. This is the winter home of the Danish royal family in Copenhagen, Denmark. And it is shaped into a perfect octagon. Look at this. Not only is it shaped into a perfect octagon, which of course has eight sides, two of the palaces that make up this octagon are from the eighth bloodline of different people in this royal family. Now we're going to actually align this and it, we're going to show exactly where this points to and it's fascinating you guys. So the two bloodlines that end in eight are Christian the eighth and Frederick the eighth and it makes up as I said two of the palaces that make up this courtyard. There are actually four palaces from four different family lines but the overall shape is in fact an octagon. Now we're going to tie this in to Flight 370. Now many of you remember that they were searching for Flight 370 off of the coast of Australia near Perth and this is the map that actually shows it. The search area. Now, I want you to look at this typography here out in the ocean and we're going to match that up to Google Earth. So when you go to Copenhagen, Denmark, let's take a look. We see a Malian board. And as you can see, the alignment here is at 115.55 degrees. which matches the alignment of the latitude coordinate which is at 55 degrees. Okay, this is how these people use these numbers. Now, we've established that the alignment is at 115.55 degrees. We're now going to look at where this points to. Now, many of you remember the discovery we made of the 1960s episode of The Twilight Zone. And in that episode, at the very end, they talk about the Flying Dutchman. Now, the Flying Dutchman is a fictional lost plane myth. But we have to understand that maybe this is not the myth that we think it is. I'm going to tell you why. The week before Flight 370 went missing, the Flying Dutchmen were performing in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the place from which the flight went, went missing. Is that an accident? Well, let's look at where Denmark aligns to. It aligns to the exact search area off the coast of Australia that we just saw where flight 370 went missing and this is the line here let's look back again at the search area and we can line these up exactly search area map and here's the point here Now you're probably wondering what this pentagram is in the South Indian Ocean. This pentagram is the mirror pentagram from the one we see across the world in the United States that we had identified as the pentagram of death through much, much research. And one of the arms of this pentagram goes directly through the center of Washington DC at 88.88 degrees as well as the Washington Monument as you can see here which appears to have an eight surrounding it 
as well. This line is at 88.88 degrees and it shares the same numerical alignment to the Vatican with its obelisk and its capital building. And here is the pentagram that covers the United States that we had worked so hard to put together. And its mirror image is on the other side of the planet. And the alignment of Copenhagen, Denmark touches it in the South Indian Ocean. So once again, we have the number eight related to Denmark. We have the octagon of their palaces in their capital building where their royal family resides. Before I leave, I'd like to share a short story with you of an incident that I had while camping. I was met with a neighbor who was from Auckland, New Zealand. Now Zealand is the largest and most populated island in Denmark. New Zealand was discovered by a Dutch explorer and he named New Zealand after the motherland. Now when I arrived this neighbor who had a, a very thick New Zealand accent asked me if I wanted a cocktail of Crown Royal but it was in a purple jar. Now Crown Royal is a relatively recent whiskey and the reigning monarch King George VI and his wife Queen Elizabeth visited Canada in 1939 Crown Royal was introduced that year so I was offered the whiskey of Queen Elizabeth the very person that I've been doing these videos on and research on now you can call this coincidence or you cannot believe my story but it's the truth. Later in the trip, a crow was trapped in our tent because we left the tent open and it was bloody and bruised. My friend grabbed the towel and placed over the crow and released it. The very last day, just moments before we left, the crow returned underneath the car of the neighbor who was from New Zealand. Take care, be safe you guys.